we've officially started soybean harvest. We finished up the corn, as I've said in the last video. Got our, uh, we're able to have a day out or a Sunday morning off and uh, got a little goose hunt in. And I guess Sunday afternoon we came over here, messed with the combines. You were having trouble with uh, a sensor, hydraulic sensor, that wasn't letting the head, one of the heads calibrate. Um, that was on the 670. You've seen the little lump out in the middle of the field. Right there. Um, belt broke yesterday afternoon. We've got about one truckload almost. Afraid the beans may have a little damage on them, possibly. Or mold, maybe not much. They may be uh, borderline high moisture too. So anyway, we're cutting them. I gotta cut them. We've uh, sprayed Gramox on on them. It's been like 10 days and they're still not turning. I'll show you how green they are in just a second. But got two combines running. They're not able to go very fast. As you've seen in the videos, two miles an hour, maybe three, two and a half, three. Um, anyway, we got to get them cut. We got 350 acres right here uh, between base and Crowder. Gonna try to catch them on a grain buggy here in a minute. Robbie's up there with the trucks. Uh, JR's coming later him and one other truck but happy to be rolling the uh, straw chopper belt broke on the 9870 as you've seen if you follow us on Instagram 670 had a back uh, one of the rear tires was flat so we've uh, cut like 15 20 acres right here we've been messing with it for three days but the, like I said the beans are really not ready anyway they're still still several green stalks there which making it extremely tough see it good there a lot of leaves still left on the beans but the, some of the pods are starting to mold it's my dad on that combine slack on the 670 and we are creeping because of that right there they're shelling out looking good. 15 and a half, 16% moisture probably. Just tough and stuff like that. The slack's almost done on this end over here. And we're gonna work this out and move on to other fields. I think the bottom, one of those bottoms is a little more ready. I'm not sure why we're starting here. That's just where the truck's pulled in. Anyway, we'll get this done in a couple hours and move on to the next field. Y'all enjoy. Bolt broke on the header and something else up on those sensors. Huh. That's what it was. Stick stuff, an automatic header sensor. A little arm that hangs down below the headers. Pulled about a baseball size, baseball bat size. Stick out in front. Stick this bolt in real quick. Probably broke that same bolt. Here we go. Got it fixed. Pulled the stick out and uh, the bolt in. Maybe that's the only trouble we'll have. Slack said he was having uh, some kind of air coolant code pop up, but uh, maybe it's just a false alarm. Hopefully. Get her back rolling.
Cadillac put something on me while we were stopped. Catch him before he gets to the other end. Getting a pretty big load now. Somebody was sliding something. That may have been that stick. Here we go. Yeah. 
stop his combine, and I'm going to not stop up, hopefully. He's back there by the straw chopper. It looked like it was throwing out a little uneven. So, anyway, just got to check that out. Dustier beans, not so green stalks, and uh, they look really good. I don't know exactly. I bet they're 60 bushel plus an acre, probably, hopefully. He's finished dumping, and uh, anyway, they're filling up really fast. Can't even turn around. These kind of short rows, and the beans are laid down so much they're loaded. We're mashing them, some of them down. Ain't no telling what this actually made, but yeah, very dusty. He's backing up. That green stuff was not ideal on the uh, straw chopper problem either. I don't know what's happening now, but reversing it back out. That's what it's supposed to look like coming out of the back of the combine. Not all that green silage looking stuff. Yeah, but other than these beans right here being laid down, they're doing really good. a couple culverts and climb up a hill and all oh, yeah, this. So I'm just going to bring one of the trucks down there and load it. Robbie should be back any minute. He's got a truck there. I'll let him uh, bring a pickup back down there for us. A service truck or something. Anyway, going good. Filling up the trucks before the drivers can get, get back from the elevator. So, good problem to have. 
Thank y'all for watching and maybe it'll continue to go smoothly. We got another, I bet we've cut 50 acres so far. Another 260 to go, 250, 260 to go. I think it was around 300 acres. Anyway, thanks for watching.